What's good? It's Amadi the Ruler, and I'm back with more hip hop and entertainment news. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Game recently went on Big Boy's Neighborhood, and he talked about Nipsey Hussle. A lot of people have been questioning why Game hasn't said anything about what WAC 100 has to say about this whole legend conversation. Uh, well, Game actually addressed that further because he did speak on that to TMZ. But listen to what Game had to say. And what I was saying is that, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna put me in the middle or twist that. What Wack says or what he wants to say is really his own opinion. Mm -hmm. Stop coming to Game or Big Boy yeah, and man. saying what, like, what are you gonna do? No, what are and you gonna Wack do? Will... Obviously, are two different people, right. two different opinions. I don't wake up and feel like I should wear what Wack wears. He feels like he wants to say something. Yeah. If you don't like it, address him yeah. or talk to him or go to his page. He, like, I say stuff that he doesn't approve of all, all the, the time. time. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, you know, people saying that, oh, you know, Wack said this about Nip or he said this. That's his opinion. Yeah. Talk to him about it. Ask him why he feel like that. I don't think for Wack. And Stop then asking I me. know y'all probably had your own conversation that don't deal with radio and mm -hmm. TMZ exactly. and th you know what I'm saying and big boy and exclusives and all that man. So, all right, so I believe that game gave a fair answer to this question. I, I think his response was on point, and I believe that as a man, because you got to think about this, him and Wack 100 have a relationship that's different than him and Nipsey's relationship. First and foremost, they rode with each other on a whole different level on on a street level when when people was going after game it was whack 100 who was stepping in and standing alongside of the game so the whole dynamics of their relationship is different so it's like one of my homeboys that might be uh saying something about a somebody that i just got cool with over time years later after i didn't already built the relationship up with my homeboy i'm not gonna reprimand my homeboy on national TV or, or on social media or nothing like that. If I got a problem with the homie, I'm going to call him. I'm going to pull him to the side like, hey, come to the crib. We need to chop it up. Um, and, and I'm going to let him know how I feel. But it stays there. So I could I imagine him and him and Game, Game and Wack 100 have had a conversation. I would imagine that. But that's about as far as it's going to go. And I don't understand why people feel like the game should necessarily come out and check Wack 100 for his comments because y'all got to think about this. How cool do y'all actually think that Nipsey Hussle in the game was as far as like me going against somebody that I got over 10 years of history with? It, it wasn't that type of situation. Yes, he admired him. Yes, they got cool, you know what I mean, through, through music or whatever, but the game detailed how he even met Nipsey Hussle. They spent time in the studio. He took him out on the road. So he he liked you know he liked dude. He, he had mad love for Nipsey Hussle, but that that's not gonna dictate him going against Wack One Hundred either. We gotta understand that. And not not saying that I agree with what Wack One Hundred is saying. Not saying that I disagree with what Wack One Hundred is saying. I'm just using common sense. I'm not gonna go against somebody who done been in the trenches with me. Like, we done seen Wack 100 get down physically for the game. I'm not going against that. But I will pull him to the side and let him know that I disagree with some of the stuff that you're saying, and this is how I feel about it. But I'm not going to out you in front of everybody. That's that new school uh, way of handling things. And I feel like gangsters move in silence, even though Wack be talking a lot. But real gangsters move in silence, and I believe that the game – is doing it the right way by allowing him and Wack to talk behind closed doors and at the same time allowing Wack to have his own opinion about something, but that doesn't mean that's how I feel. That's not a reflection to me, but whatever. Get in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel. I'm a Mighty the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you can notify each and every time I upload new content. Peace.